Yeah, I want to know now who the two guys behind you are. That's what I want. Okay. Because if I were you. I'll be off in two minutes. I'm just doing, I got just, if, if I'm too loud, just let me know. Honestly. <laughs> no, they can't. Two more minutes. They can't hear us, right? No, not you. Okay, no, so I would be careful if I were you because the last time you were on a couple of guys like that, they stole your car. <laughs> Here's Chris in Boston. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, I want to talk about Missouri. We have to clean up something from Friday. We had a bad moment on Friday afternoon, and so we just want to clean up that little bit of business. And so, Maz, the floor is yours. Okay, so as you said, late, <clears throat> late in the show on Friday, I made some comments that angered and upset some people, and rightfully so. So uh, I wish I could take them back. I can't. They were uh, insensitive. They were hurtful. And frankly, they hurt the cause for those of us who believe in racial and social equality and all of those things. And I do. I'm on that side of the line, which is what made this thing so difficult in so many different ways. So I owe everyone an apology. It's not who I am. It's not who we are. I can tell you that until I'm blue in the face. Those of you who know me will believe it. Those of you who don't, won't, and you probably shouldn't. If I saw and heard what you did, uh, I feel the same way. And you have a right to be upset. The, the only thing I can really do is apologize for it. Um, again, you know, there is, when we're talking about these sorts of issues, there is a line somewhere, and I can assure you I stand on the right side of it. But you, again, that doesn't excuse what I said or did on Friday. It was really, I meant, if anyone cares, to poke fun at you, Mike. Uh, it didn't come off that way. It came off as something far broader and uh, ignorant. And uh, I, I'm regretful of that. I don't know what more I can say other than I'm sorry to you and to Murray for dragging you into it. Oh, please. For Jimmy Stewart. For the people here at the station, let alone friends and colleagues in the business who are dealing with it on assorted different levels. So, um, again, all I can tell you is it's not who I am. And I was it got a little silly and stupid at the end of the show. I was trying to be a wise ass like I often am. And it just came out wrong. And I wish I could give you a better answer than that because we're in a business where we should be careful about what we say and how we say it. And uh, and I wasn't.